morning, folks. Out here on Lake Metagoshi, beautiful day. Monday, December 2nd. Might be the earliest I've ever been out here. Bluegill, crappie, pike. Hi, right, well, good morning again, everybody. Mike Howe and Scott Wetzel here. Montana boys out here in North Dakota. So we're up here on Lake Metagoshi with my friend Clay Hull. We got Gary Bertram here with us as well. Um, we, uh, Scott and I are hoofing it on this trip. Uh, so Clay brought the snowmobile out, helped us get out here. Uh, so it's December 2nd, beautiful morning, supposed to be 34 here today. Uh, so Scott and I are traveling through, gone our way to St. Paul. Many of you know what's going on with that schedule. So uh, always try and stop here on Lake Metagoshi and catch a few gills. Spend some time with our friends up here. So uh, Scott put the Vexilar in the hole, walked away, rigged a rod, come back. There's already a fish waiting for him. So uh, we'll see if uh, see if he can get in tune with these North Dakota bluegill here. So my cow, Scott Wetzel, Lake Metagoshi, North Dakota, December 2nd, 2019. We're ice fishing, folks. I don't think he's a Metagoshi monster, but he's a fish. Oh, it's a nice crappie. There you go. Yeah. That's a pie. That's a pie. That. That's not bad for the first fish of the season. No. Here in North Dakota. there for a while. I had to I had to work with him a little bit. All right, well, welcome back, everybody. It's uh, it's now afternoon. We we fished all morning. We caught uh, we caught some really nice crappies, uh, which is kind of a bonus for out here at Metagoshi. Um, you know, not a lot of crappies get caught out here, but when they do, they seem to be awful nice fish. So uh, we caught a couple of bluegills in the nine nine and a half inch range. Uh, went and had some lunch. We're back. It's about three o'clock. We've got our area drilled out. It's important to drill your holes when you're pan fish fishing, especially big bluegill and crappie. Get your holes drilled. Disturb the area all at one time to let these fish settle down. We've got two hours until prime time. So uh, we're gonna start hole hopping, see if we can pattern some fish. And then once that sun gets down over the trees behind me, then it's gonna be game on. So. Uh, looking forward to this afternoon's bite and looking forward to this since April, so. The birdie had a couple of nice fish fall. Scott caught a beautiful crappie just a few minutes ago. Um, says it's probably one of his best crappies that he's ever caught, so. That's certainly encouraging. And then uh, we got a ways to go, but we're spread out over this area. We got some guys fishing these different spots. Uh, they did actually did pretty good out here. Clay and some of the other guys did pretty good out here last night. So uh, we're encouraged that we're in the right spot. Uh, we've definitely had a weather pattern change. It's been cloudy for a week. Um, freezing rain, snow, lots of clouds. Uh, sun finally broke through today. Got a beautiful afternoon. Haven't seen my shadow in a week. And uh, so, yeah, we're looking forward to this change in the barometer, change in the weather, change in the fish's attitude. So we're gonna get after them. Been using a combination of live bait and uh, plastics today. 
Seems like a little live bait, at least, uh, you know, as an added incentive has worked for me. Um, I've been catching a mix of plastics and live bait. So I'm gonna start out with a drop kick with just a wax worm threaded on it and see how that goes. I'm using the new uh, clam gravity elite reel first real first time I've really been out using it uh, got it on the Dave Gens legacy 32 inch ultralight one of my favorite rods favorite go-to rods so um, this got the trigger system on it you know you can certainly go faster than the trigger allows it's just a good idea to keep your thumb on the spool so it doesn't over spool when you're pulling it against the trigger otherwise you can just pull back the trigger and, and it'll do a real slow drop. But if you get in a hurry, just put your thumb, your, your pinky here, and pull your line out. And, uh, and you can get that jig out a little bit faster, so. I don't know if you can see Clay Hole behind me, but uh, keep your eye on him if you can, because he'll probably catch three to one on me. working some fish here already so it's a good sign they've been cruising through kind of high coming up off the bottom um, what I was doing earlier was dead sticking it and then uh, give it a minute or two those fish would come in to the bait just sitting there dead sticked and then pick it up give it a couple of shakes and they were already there this the one this yeah two of them okay Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice. So when we're talking about Matagoshi crappies, we're talking about a pretty nice crappie. What'd you catch that one on, Clay? The drop kick? Yeah. Kick drop? Kick drop, drop yeah. kick. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Get a still <laughs> picture of you. Something about a fresh hole, isn't it? First drop in a fresh hole. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm ice fishing in North Dakota. Nice little gill if I was cutting fish. This would be a cutter.
Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Long shadows. What are we marking here? Uh, oh, like we got lots of different moods in these fish today. Yeah. Some are super aggressive, some are, eh, you gotta make me want it, and others are like, nope. Well, Scott's been yarding the men out here. Well, I know you've been hitting some fish out here, Scott. Oh yeah, there's fish around. Kinda left the hole now. Gotta to jump to another one. Well, I just wonder if they're gonna uh, get out to a certain spot and stay put when the prime time starts or if they're going to keep bouncing back and forth. Yeah. 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 Well, we got the long shadows, man. Yeah. Prime time is coming. Yeah. That's pretty good. Guy keeps his lure in the lot water, he can usually do that. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're out here fishing without a shack. The wind's been blowing, you know, pretty consistent for the last hour and a half. We're probably 25 degrees now that the sun's been down. You know, 28, 29 with the sun out, you're warm. Um, but I'm out here 28. 28 degrees, sun's going down. I'm still very warm everywhere in my body. My hands are getting a little cold, but the secret to that is just get you some hand warmers. Keep them in your pockets. If your hands get cold, just put them in there for a couple minutes, warm them back up, get circulation going again. But, you know, why? Why do you, why do you come out here? Why do you do this? Prime time isn't just about the fishing and the fish you catch, but prime time is being out on a beautiful lake beautiful state, good friends, moon coming up, the Dakotas are famous for painting the sky many different colors throughout the day. Montana's pretty good at it as well. Just bring a shack out here, you get the heater going, you jump in there and warm up, wear the right suit, lay it right, you can stay out here all day in weather like this. I can't think of a better way to end the day than looking at this picture. Maybe a big, maybe a big bluegill. But I don't need it to be happy. That's why we come to Metagoshi. Right there. Look at that fish. That, folks, is what you call a North Dakota bluegill. Look at the girth on them. I mean, Crazy. It's, they, they're even good on the Canadian side. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. I just, <laughs> this, it's something else when you're reeling something up like that. It's, you can't get enough of it. That's it. You can't get enough of it. I know I can't.
Monday, December 2nd. It's December 2nd, the December 2nd, 2019. On the 2nd of December. <laughs> Maybe it's the 3rd. All right, well, good morning again, everybody. Mike Howe and Scott Wetzel here. Montana boys out here in North Dakota taking advantage of the hospitality uh, that we're showed every year up here on uh, Lake Metagoshi. Uh, got Clay Hull and his cousin, Gary. Is he your cousin? Yep. What's your last name, Gary? Bertram. Bertram. You're not on witness protection or anything where we're hiding your ID. <laughs> no. All right. 